Also tonight, accused murderer Joey Oliver back behind bars. The families of the murder victims say he should never have been allowed out in the first place. After four months of freedom, the man charged with the double murder of Kimberly Lockyer and Dale Worthman is back behind bars tonight. Today, the Court of Appeal overturned an earlier decision to release Joseph Oliver. NTV's Darren Bent was on hand for today's decision and has reaction from Oliver as well as a victim's family. The family of the late Dale Worthman left court happy today after a decision that the man accused of his murder, Joseph Oliver, should be back behind bars. Mr. Oliver was in the Court of Appeal in St. John's this morning where his lawyers were fighting to keep him free on bail. In January, after a year in prison, a trial division judge ordered his release, but the prosecutors in the case didn't agree. Mr. Oliver is facing a double murder charge in connection with the deaths of Mr. Worthman and his girlfriend, Kimberly Lockyer. Today, the prosecutors argued that Mr. Oliver should be in prison, and the panel of three judges agreed. Mr. Oliver's counsel says they're disappointed with the decision, and Mr. Oliver wasn't happy either. Mr. Oliver, what do you think of the ruling? I think it's wrong. I think I uh, can say no. The victims in this case were shot to death in a wooded area just outside St. John's. They had been missing since 1993, when their bodies were finally found in the summer of 2006. Months later, Mr. Oliver was charged with two counts of second-degree murder. Today, Dale Worthman's mother says Mr. Oliver shouldn't have been released from prison in the first place. Oh, very glad. I don't think he should have been out to begin with. Yeah. Uh, but he's put us through for 13 years. Shouldn't be walking the streets. Currently, Joseph Oliver is before a provincial court judge for his preliminary inquiry. That hearing will determine if Mr. Oliver should be tried on the murder charges. Tonight, for the first time since early January, Mr. Oliver is back behind bars. His lawyers don't believe there is a route of appeal. Darren Bent, NTV News.